Hello, hello. It is Saturday morning and I am not throwing up. So we're starting the set off in a more normal manner today, which is nice. Um, as you can also see, I see a couple people talking about it in the chat, so I don't feel so bad about talking about it again because obviously you know it affects me. But I'm wearing a t-shirt and the reason I'm wearing a t-shirt is for the first time in like months, it's actually nice outside. I mean like hot. So I've said this before, I said it last week. It annoys me because we literally had no days in between, like a nice 72, 73 degree day with no wind. It went from Monday snowing and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday basically being cold as shit to going to, I think it's gonna be 81 degrees today. And it's like uh, 11 o'clock and it is really hot right now. It feels really hot. Um, I, I don't prefer the extremes, but if I have to pick one, either this or fucking snowing, I would pick this. Because <laughs> this is uh, finally nice. You can go outside, enjoy the weather, take a walk and not have to wear you know jackets and shit. Uh, so that's the good news, but uh, we get rain again on Monday because it rains so much here in Ohio. Uh, that that is going to only last for two days. So we have today and tomorrow of nice weather and then it's back to shit. <laughs> so next week's forecast is I think highs of 50, which is like what March weather, like early March weather. And it's May. <laughs> it's almost May and we're having early March. This has been by far. So I got my gas bill. Uh, no, none of you follow me on Facebook because I don't let anybody follow me on Facebook except for like friends and family. So I have like, I think I have like 40 friends on Facebook and I don't like check it all that much or look at it that much. But on Facebook, I did post a picture of my gas bill. So I got a gas bill in the mail. Uh, well, not in the mail, on, on the, uh, online. And I took a picture of like what it does is it shows you like the last year or how long of each month and how much you paid and how much energy you used and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, obviously gas is more expensive, so the price has not gone down, even though I've used, so each month it's been 60, 60, 60 dollars, which is nothing by the way, because in Korea it was so crazy. Uh, even though I didn't use that much um, and I used less, it kept staying because gas is out of control, of course, and the companies are just using this as a way to rip people off. Um, <clears throat> the, the most important part that I highlighted on this picture was at the same time period last year. So it shows you uh, what last year's average temperature was for the month, shows you what your temperature was for the month, or uh, shows you like the average temperature overall, and then the average temperature this, this year's uh, bill. And last year at this time versus this year, it was a six degree difference. Six degrees. <laughs> That's like, when you're talking about temperature and climate, six degrees is a fucking big deal. Uh, that'd be like if you're running a 100 meter dash and when they say like someone was like 0.26 seconds behind the winner, that's considered far in a 100 meter dash, even though it's like. <laughs> so six degrees in a month's time of climate is a fucking huge difference. That shows you how bullshit cold it was this past month. It's been annoying as shit. So, that to say, I'm gonna enjoy these next couple of days. If you can see right here, um, I think I told you guys about this. Um, I had like a spot on my, uh, like here for maybe four or five months and it didn't go away, so I went yesterday. And she was like, oh yeah, that's a carcinoma, nama, 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 some freaking long word, you know. And she just fucking freezed the shit out of it. So <laughs> she, freezed, she freezed it to death and she said, you're going to have like a week or two of it looking like this. And it's like really swollen and it's even pussing a little bit. So uh, that's nice. But at least I got it taken care of. And she said, if it comes back, that's when I should be worried. She said, it should be gone. It shouldn't really leave a scar. Uh, but she, um, she said, if it does come back, you need to come back and talk to us because it's probably cancer. So that's what I'll do. I'll just hold my fingers and cross my fingers and, and hope that this takes care of it and it goes away in a couple weeks. That'll be nice. 
Um, so this is a literal take two <laughs> uh, for Mr. Cullen, uh, the, the, the nice Cullen who understood that I was literally trying my best to make it through a stream and I made it through one song and like started barfing again. So I'm not barfing this week. I'm ready to go. It looks like there's a lot of people in the chat ready to hear Cullen's reset. That's what we're going to call it, the reset. Uh, thanks, Michael. Uh, it's good to see you back. Uh, that's another note before we get started. We have a ton of people turning in sets all of a sudden, uh, which is great, of course, but it means that we are booked all the way through next weekend now. So Michael has turned in a set, John Feedy, Adrian has turned in a set. Um, who else? Um, and Lasore has turned in a set. That's what, all this will be next weekend. So um, <clears throat> looking forward to hearing uh, the regulars come back. Uh, we kind of took a couple months or a month or so hiatus, which is good. Um, you always need a break. And it looks like people are ready to get back to it and get their sets back in. Um, so let's get started on the uh, reset. Everyone has heard this song by Colin last week, right before I started throwing up again. So what's up, Atharva? I don't know how to say your name. I don't know if it looks like a guy's name, but I don't know for sure. Athar, Atharva. I like that. Atharva. That's kind of a cool name. It's like larva with an F in front of it. <laughs> um, great to see you. Welcome. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the set that Colin has for us. Um, now that I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, I can show the guns, but I got to get rid of some belly fat before I go to Korea, which is in two months or about a month and a half now. So, oh, from India. Welcome from India. I'm actually watching a um, documentary about India and the caste system on Netflix. It's pretty interesting. Um, so are you, uh, what part of the caste are you from? <laughs> um, don't, don't say that. I was just kidding. All right, so let's get to this. You guys have all heard the song, but I'm going to introduce it again because we should. This is um, Heavenly is the band, and the song is called Evil. He says, first up is Heavenly. These guys are from France, which isn't particularly known for its power metal output. Jean-Francois might disagree with this. That being said, these guys are were the very best in the genre. Their last album was released in 2011, so I'm assuming they are no longer active. Evil is from the band's third album and is the closest to what people think of when asked. What is power metal? Fast tempo, high vocals, and frantic leads. Special mention has to go to the drummer Max Pilo. Pilo? This was his last album before retiring from music, and his chops are easily on par with Aquila's Priester, which is saying a lot, because Aquila's Priester is awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure when we were listening to this last week before I threw up, even though I was about to throw up halfway through it, and I was trying to hold it back in my throat, I was liking it. So let's see if I like it the second time around in a clear state of mind. What's up, Ryan? Sounds like a keyless. A thurbo. Oh, a thurbo. Okay. I like a thurbo. Sounds so much like, uh, right here it sounds like, uh, whatever it's called. Through the fire and flames. 44. You're almost on Korea time. No, Korea's in the morning now. Or no, they're at 11, 12 o'clock, yeah. They're in the next day. Yeah, not a, I remember now. I'm not a big fan of the singing, of course. But I think we need some halftime. I like that offbeat or syncopation kind of thing. Yep, a little bit 
slow it here. Colin, I would say, yes, he does. But the drummer that I've heard the most endurance, he's not my favorite drummer or anything like that, was the one from, um, the fuck was her name? Oblivisicaris. Neo Oblivisicaris. That dude's stamina is out of control. This is proggy? It sounds very powered at the beginning to me. <laughs> Here, man. <laughs> I admit, though, I'm not very versed between... I mean, I know prog, but I don't know what would make something prog more than power metal. This sounds very power metal to me, though. <laughs> to me, the harmonies and the singing, and just like the tempo, the consistent up tempo, makes it very power metal to me. Now this part, yes, it's got more of a proggy. That's very, that's more proggy to me. Oh, I remember this. Great guitar here. This part sounds more proggy to me. transition. I think at this point I probably was just trying not to throw up. I was like the light is getting hot. Yeah, Jeff, I'm definitely thinking that right now. The beginning was heavy power metal to me and this last minute or two has been much more not power metal to me. No, I wasn't gone. I left like 10 seconds before the song ended, I think. But at this point, I was definitely like, please end, because I'm not going to make it. Yeah, I would agree, Ryan. I'm not a very power metal guy, so that first part was kind of too power metal for me, but half half of the song, it got better. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, definitely don't remember that being the end, because I think I, at this point I was gone. <laughs> so we made it through, people, and I did not throw up, thank goodness. Um, so, yeah, I think what everybody's saying in the chat is exactly how I would say it. Um, I definitely don't prefer it wasn't bad but i don't prefer 
uh, the beginning, first like, I don't know, two minutes of it, three minutes, but then like it, when it got to the middle and it started transitioning into what I would call more of a prog feel, more like runs and like melody and stuff like that versus like the straight stuff. Um, I liked it. So I'd say this was like the tale of two coins for me. The two coin doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the tale of, wait, wait, what, what's the saying? Somebody say it in the chat. What is the fucking saying? <laughs> I can't even think of that right now. The tale of two sides. Is that what it is? The tale of two sides. I don't know. Shit. I can't remember. Uh, so it's like the first half eh, second half. Yeah. Like if it was mostly, yeah, two sides. I know two sides of the coin, but it's like two halves of the same something. I can't remember what the saying is. Um, so th if, it, if the whole song was the second half, I think I would like it. One of the things I don't like about power metal, which I've told you guys before, is just like the, the repetitive nature and high tempo, higher tempo. And then the second thing I don't like about power metal typically is the... It's like the... the uh, the vocals are not my style for sure. Um, but that second half when he was like singing like all melodically and smooth and soft and, you know, ballady, definitely up my alley. So, uh, by the way, we are missing um, Adrian. Where the hell's Adrian? He must be golfing or something like that. But uh, I did want to tell you guys, yes, Scott's set is still blocked, but I disputed it. Um, so it has been disputed. I'm waiting for it to either give me a strike on the channel or um, it to be unblocked at some point. So I'm hoping, let's cross fingers, that it just kind of pops back up. So uh, it got blocked because of the, uh, let me check what blocked it. I'm pretty sure it was the... Uh, the Catatonia song. That's what it was. The Catatonia song is what blocked the whole thing. So, Scott, just know that Catatonia is causing problems. All right. So, let's get into the second one. The second one is Keldian. Keldian, I think there's like a, a Magic the Gathering uh, card, like monster called Keldian Warrior. And it, it's in my red deck. And he's fucking awesome. I think he's like a 3-4 flying um, <laughs> this song is called Never Existed. So whenever I see the word Keldian, I like it. I think he has Shadow Band too. Uh, <laughs> Never Existed. Uh, Keldian are a Norwegian duo. I'll spare you trying to pronounce their names. Thank you, because I would be worse. With a heavy sci-fi leaning in their lyrics, while that might immediately turn some away from these guys, me. Trust me, nobody writes as hooky and memorable songs like they do. Never Existed is from 2013 and was the lead single from their most recent album at the time. Both guys sing and share instrumental duty. Awesome. They both play drums, bass, guitar, and keyboards on each album. Damn. Multi-talented. These guys are pretty talented, to say the least. All right, this is Keldian Warrior, or just Keldian. The Keldian Warrior in the red deck is pretty sweet. Uh, Never Existed is the song. Here we go go let's take that off all right okay already like this better <clears throat> interesting this was like started heavy and it's going into like a okay his voice at the beginning sounded kind of like punk rocky repetition in music and speaking is different Kind of like a...
endless sword. Exactly what I'm saying. Yes. Repetition of music, nah. But in things that are non-artistic, like skillful things, well, I shouldn't say artistic. I'm not saying artistic is not skillful. But like language. Repetition is good in language. <laughs> it's not good for relationships. It's very static. In music, static. <laughs> pyramid, yeah, that that's that gastuous nebulous fiery ball is pretty uh <laughs> pretty big. Repetition is good for non-animated things. How about that? Agreed, Michael. I think it's a good a good way to restate that. I'd say too much repetition. <laughs> Over repetition. Yeah, this is almost like a, like this could be like a sample taken to be in an electronica song. <laughs> or like a Japanese song. I feel like this is like a very Japanese chorus. It totally sounds like a Japanese like to me, anyway. Like an anime? Japanese anime song, almost. <laughs> Michael, we said the exact same thing. The exact same time. Is that it? Alright, we are down two. So, I'd be interested, for the people in the chat, did you like number one or number two better? So far, I would say I actually liked the second half of number one better than this. This was more anime and repetitious for me that I was not really like connecting with it. So my question, what I am impressed by is what Colin said that these there's only two people that are doing all the instrumentation for it. Um, that is impressive. So if, if I think if you're this kind of band, maybe like a uh, a video, a compilation kind of uh, of them like playing the different instruments would be kind of cool just to see them going back and forth between the instruments. So Colin, um, I'd be interested what you like about that so much. Like what is it? Is it, is it the melody? Is it the drivingness? Is it all of those? Like what, what is, uh, what is the thing you like about that song the most? Um, yeah, I would, I also agree. Like I didn't dislike the song, but I didn't like the song. I didn't connect to the song. It was kind of like a in-betweener for me. But I definitely liked the second half of the first song more than this. I can say that. All right, I am definitely talking too much. So let's get to number three, Cardiant. Cardiant? I think it's how you say the name. My Delusion is the name of the song. Cardiant are a little-known Finnish band formed in 2000. Unfortunately, after a strong debut album, the group su suffered several lineup changes and have only released four albums in 22 years. Wow. Which is a pretty terrible output ratio. Yes, it is. But, I mean, what the heck? It's kind of like losing people on the football team or soccer team to injury. If people walk away, you got to rebuild, you got to restart, get them settled, and then they walk away again and they get hurt again. It just sucks. The upside to this is each album is of very high quality. Okay. My Delusion is from their most recent album, Mirrors, released in 2017. By the way, 2017 was one of the greatest years for me. <laughs> 
well wait, maybe it's 2016, and explores more symphonic elements than their previous output. So this is Cardiant, My Delusion from 2017. Let's go. like the core. Yeah, I could see that the chorus is a little hooky. I agree with that, Colin, for sure. It just wasn't very moving, if I remember correctly. It felt like the uh, the melody was just like... Sounded like that Killers song. Sorry, don't want to ruin this song. I'm liking the psychedelic, like, Vox. Okay, here's that symphonic metal you were talking about. I can feel it. It's like... Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Yeah, these... that Give yourself a hand, Colin. These are band names that I think a lot of people haven't heard of. Not everyone. Scott, agree. It's starting out strong, but is it going to continue strong? Ah, oh, what's up, Venus? I'm kind of wondering, Venus, if I should, like, I'm excited, but I either might wait for the whole album. I'm kind of one of those people I don't like listening to the singles, typically. Or if I'm waiting for someone to ask me to react to it. I might wait till it comes out, the whole album, which is. Okay, this just went into a different direction, but I'm not disliking it as much because it's not. It's a little more lower tempo. Still got that one, two, one, two, one, two feel, which to me is a very power metal feel. Hmm. Might be a good idea, Scott. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Oh, what? It's like busting. Nice guitar there, nice sweep. Fuck, dude, doing some sweeping there. Okay, I'm, I think I'm digging this one. Yeah, I would agree, and the sword. So far, it's my favorite one, but we'll see where it goes. Exactly, Jeff. That's what I tend to do too. I want to wait for the whole thing. Nice, Ash. Way to get Ryan into the Haken gear. I think I like this more because his voice. It's not like... It's like, he sounds good. Taurus is doing woo, 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 at least the beginning. Hammering. I'm impressed by the guitar player. Okay. Nice switch. And in white halftime. Oh! <laughs> this is why halftime is fucking live, people. It just changes it up.
See, this is why I love playing drums to like soul because it's always in half tempo or slow tempo. And you can just like feel that like groove. Ah, uh, feel that? Oh. Best part of the song so far. And see, the reason I don't like this is the groove is gone. It's just metronomy. I shouldn't say completely gone, but it's definitely not as good as the first thing, first that last part. But it drives. That's the point of this kind of music. This tempo and this kind of drive is driving. But I certainly like the switch up to that. Mm. Feel it in your fucking soul. Definitely, that song will go on a playlist. I liked it. Cardiant, Mirrors, Hell Yeah. Colin, did you pick this? I hope Denise picked it. Denise? Oh, still got some more. <clears throat> Is it gonna resolve? It didn't resolve, which is good. Denise, way to go. I hope you're watching. Is Denise watching? As we've said, and I'm sure Colin has told you, it doesn't matter if we don't like your picks. The fact that you pick these and the fact that you're picking stuff that's like stuff most these people have never heard outside of Colin, that's pretty cool, Denise. Um, hopefully uh, you can join the chat at some time too and let us know your thoughts on other shit. That's not Collins or yours. Um, oh, she had to go to her mom's. Well, Denise, when you watch this later, that song is going on a playlist. I liked especially the groove part. When that, when that broke down to the groove part, that's, that is the best example of why groove and halftime is life. Because it just had that, like, in the way the drummer was hitting the bell on the ride cymbal to syncopate, like, that feel and that groove... That is life. That is life. It's life. It's life. <laughs> and I do agree that like techno music I would put in this ball ballpark and this kind of energy driven power metal, it just gets too repetitious for me and boring. It loses the groove. It gets and I I understand that the point is energy, but the reason I like the song is either power metal tends to be too energy. But like the weather, when I was talking about earlier, you don't, the, the reason blues, I think it's a little boring is I, I understandably think blues and funk to a degree, but a little less because it's more eclectic, but funk or blues tends to be repetitive. Like almost every blues song sounds kind of like the way every power metal song sounds in its own genre. But... For me, if I have to pick between the two extremes or the two repetitious things, I'm going to pick blues all day long because it's so filled with emotion and groove that even if it's repetitious, I, I can personally deal with it more than like speed metal that has less groove and is more energy driven. I'm more of a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to do with that analogy. Um, let's get on to the next song. Thank you, Denise. Good choice of Cardiant, My Delusion. Um, liked how they broke it up. His voice was not too squealy. That's what I call power metal, um, singers that I don't really like. I call them squealy because they sound like they're squealing. Uh, like a pig. Um, all right. The next one's called Freedom Call. This is a long ass song. Uh, The Quest. Um, Time for Some Cheese. Uh-oh. Freedom Call are from Germany, okay, the home of power metal. 
and have been described as one of the happiest sounding metal bands, and I don't disagree. The Quest, however, is one of their more serious songs and a mini epic. The lyrics are pretty cliche fantasy stuff, but I don't listen to the lyrics that much anyway. But is his voice squealy, Colin? That's what I want to know. Is his voice squealy, Denise? But musically, the song is a beast. Not bad for a song that came out 20 years ago. All right. So here we go with Freedom Call by The Quest. I think you're being sarcastic, but I'm not saying they sound the same. They're both repetitious, though, within their own genre. Well, I've only heard a couple songs by Amon Amarth, and it's droning and repetitive, but good. Hear the squealy there? But half time. Okay, I don't mind it so far. It's fucking half time. Ooh, okay. Okay, Colin and Denise, whoever chose it. It's like a Metallica. Yep, and even as it picks up into eighth notes. Okay, nice. Kind of weird switch, but okay. Actually, I, like I said, I've only heard two songs. If it was like every song sounded like the two songs that I've heard, I probably wouldn't dig it too much, but it, it, it the end of the sunset, sounds like Getty a little bit. That literally sounds like Getty Lee with a little obviously difference. That bass. <laughs> Leaking. <laughs> ah, Omar, what's up, man? I agree about the running low piano part. This is totally Metallica. Love it. That new black album. It is a little cheesy for sure, but you dig in the, the, the riffage. God, at least it's not like fast tempo, it's like a medium tempo. I guess I just really am against fast tempo. It just gets... Half time is life. Feel the groove come back. Yeah, 
I'm trying to see if I... I definitely like this more than the other first three, but... Or, first two. But I'm trying to figure out if this is better than the last song. Nice. Got a little progressive running there. Definitely feels progressive here. Oh, Jeff, taking back something he said. You got some guilt, Jeff? change here. <laughs> Harmonic on the bass. Through the crystal I see much I see human life. <laughs> Jeff, I think you have many secrets. <laughs> it's so interesting you can like the bass sounds so like trebly. Like, they didn't put any bass or mid on his recording. But you can hear him. Nice. This is definitely my second favorite song. Great Baggins. I think an hour is a good time. Because if it, when it gets past an hour, I'm like, okay, we're getting too long. It's like a radio show. It's a new style radio show. <laughs> Except you guys control what's played. So much halftime in the song is why I like it. Dude, I thought this was a very long song, but that went pretty quick. Nice. I think I remember talking about Gore when I was like in high school. They've been around for a long time, right? Um, I remember like at least in high school, they were in that category of like non-Christian fucked up bands. <laughs> Although I never heard them, it just does the stereotype they had. <laughs> yeah, that song was I think my second favorite. I'm gonna have to when I go back and put I'm gonna I definitely think both those are going on a playlist. Three and four. So it sounds like you're getting stronger, uh, Colin. Again, who picked that like so you said Denise you said it was like a dual set, so um D Denise like choose that more than you, or is that more of a Colin song and she just like agreed, or like how did that how did the last two go? I wanna know. I know you said Denise, I think, for the last one, so Denise did excellent on that one. Was this a Colin? Excelente. All right, so let's get to this last one. We are at 50 minutes. This is Dimov. I think it's Dimov. I, we've heard these guys before, and I fucking loved their last song that we listened to. Although this song is 10 minutes and 24 seconds. This is a doozy. This is Star and Crescent. Well, I shouldn't say doozy. Doozy is like 14 minutes and above. This is long. <laughs> And we end on a familiar ground. Last time we heard Dimov, D Dimov, I think that's how you say it. Dim Dimov, I think it's Dimov, was with Realms of a Vagrant King, which I liked. That song was the ballad of their debut album. Now we get to hear these guys go all out. Star and Crescent is the epic of the off the album, and they don't hold back. This song is a melting pot of several musical ideas, and will take some time to digest fully. Okay, so what you're saying is I'm probably not going to like it right away, which is okay. If I like enough of it, I'll listen to it again. The question is, is it going to turn me off enough that I don't want to listen to it again? I always give it two tries, but after two tries, if it doesn't stick with me at all, overall, 
I'm not going to give it a chance. Daniel Hyman is on top form and performs some piercing shrieks that I can only describe as a vocal pitch harmo pinch harmonic. <laughs> okay, strap yourselves in, folks. That's it for this power metal set. I hope you all found at least something you to like. I've liked the last two songs. Thanks to you for being here and bly me. I haven't said it all fucking set, but bly me because you said it in there. So this is going to be the last song of the set. Let's hear how it goes. Dimav, I think is how you say it. Good. harmonic you're talking about yeah I'm definitely not feeling like connected yet this part. I think it's like the melody is not, I don't know, something about the melody is kind of like, I like the musical riff, the guitar like riffage, but I'm not liking the melody choice. Very, uh, to the fire and flames right here. With, like, way less technicality in the guitar. Something about it is a little too chaotic for me. Okay. Kind of like 
like this part. I like that choice of keyboard here. I like that low bass in the background. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's it, Baggins. Kind of switching up too much, maybe, for me? I don't know, but just something... I don't dislike it, but something's not ringing with me. He did say it would take some time to digest. But this part I like. Since the keyboard came in, the guitar... Yeah, this is a great section. That low bass in the background sounds sick as fuck. Hear that? was a good like change there. Just, just, just simple choke. Yes, Michael, I can see that. I mean, it sounds different production wise, but yes. Okay, this is definitely the next section. Nice bass part there. Oh, I love that low B E. There's that pinch harmonic. It's a great note there. Great note there. Yeah, I would agree, Michael. This is much more on the proggy side of power metal to me. Let, I don't, I mean, other than a few sections that are very power metal-y, I would call this a, a prog song way before a power metal song. For me. <laughs> Looks like Dimab is a channel favorite for some people in the chat that's two for two a lot of people like this band so far i like the first one better than this but the second half of this song has been way stronger than the first half so maybe it'll grow on me more
French harmonics vocally. I definitely think that song could grow on me. So, as I said before we started listening to it, if it was like too much on the, yeah, I can't connect with it at all, then I it probably was going to go on that, yeah, this is not going to grow on me. But there was enough in there that I think this song will definitely grow on me. So, you guys can see in the chat my preference, 3, 4. I think it got stronger from 3, 4, and 5. So, that'd be 1, 2, 3. 1 was all right, and then 2 was my least favorite. Uh, but I would say if I listen to this more, I think five could move up that list. I don't know if it can beat three, but it could if I, if I listen to it more. So, um, yeah, I think they're, that band is definitely talented. I'm definitely interested in hearing more from that band. I mean, that, that first song by them was really good. This song I think will grow on me. So I'm interested to hear more of these guys. Um, yeah. Uh, I like that everybody's putting in there. I think we should kind of make that a uh, a regular thing of the chat is that you put in at the end your list like this so that we can see all the connections and differences people have in their taste for music. I love that. Again, I love that about this channel and the whole point of this channel is to like just bring differences of opinion and be okay with the fact that people don't dig what you dig and you don't dig what they dig sometimes and sometimes you're in the middle and sometimes you love exactly what each other loves. So uh, the dog is trying to tell me that time is up. <laughs> We're at 103, so you guys have a great uh, Saturday. I'm going to enjoy my day out and um, I will see you guys tomorrow here for who's tomorrow? Um, tomorrow is Ashley. That's right. Ashley is up to kick you in the fucking mouth with her set. Ashley, is there anything you want to say about tomorrow? <laughs> Just get your big boy panties on. Is that what you want to say? Because <laughs> I'm guessing tomorrow is going to be pretty crazy. So, all right, Ashley. Um, I think it's Athurava. Athurava. Uh, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you come back tomorrow. Um, I think Ashley's going to melt your face with her set. Oh, the first song is dedicated to me. Oh, I, I don't know how to say that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. We'll have to find out tomorrow morning. <laughs> See you guys then. Have a good one and looking forward to it. Peace. <laughs>